Unfortunately, bad situations happen sometimes. Let's learn how to react to bad news in three ways. Formal with Jason Palmer, the businessman. Hi. Casual with the lovely Grace. Hi. And slang with Marvin, the Londoner. Hi. Hey, Chelsea, do you have that presentation ready? I'm coming, Mr. Palmer. Did you spill coffee on the presentation again? Mr. Palmer, I'm awfully sorry. Hi, my name is Jason Palmer, and today we're going to be talking about reacting to bad news in a formal way. Bad things happen all the time. But did you see how my assistant Chelsea reacted? She said, I'm awfully sorry. I'm awfully sorry is a good expression to use uh, when you've made a mistake uh, or if an accident happened, like uh, spilling coffee on a document. Hello, good evening, Mr. Jackson. Jason, our shipment has been held by customs. Oh, I'm sorry to hear such terrible news. Uh, let me call you right back, okay? Did you hear what I just said? I said, I'm sorry to hear such terrible news. I'm sorry to hear such terrible news is a very common expression in business English when something happens that's out of our control. Ah, it looks like I've got an email here from my 75-year-old Aunt Emma in Canada. Let's see what she writes. Dear Jason, I'm afraid I won't be able to come to visit you in London. Unfortunately, I fell ill with a cough and I have to cancel the trip. Sincerely, Aunt Emma. Ah, this bad news. Uh, my Aunt Emma from Canada is ill and she can't come to visit, so I'm gonna have to write her. What should I write? Dear Aunt Emma. That must have been awful to have to cancel the trip. And get well and I hope to see you for the next trip. Sincerely, Jason. That must have been awful is an expression we use when we want to tell someone, usually an elder or someone we respect, that we feel bad or we feel sorry about their situation. And now, sorry, I need to send this email to my aunt. I'm awfully sorry. A formal but not so emotional way to react to bad news. I'm sorry to hear such terrible news. An expression you can say when the situation is out of control. That must have been awful. A really formal way to react to bad news. Okay, I've got another email. Let's read it together. Dear Mr. Palmer, Our shipment has been delayed by one hour. This situation is holding up our project. Kind regards, Mr. Wilson. Maybe you can help me. What expression would be best to deal with this situation? How to reply to Mr. Wilson. You're right. The correct answer is, Dear Mr. Wilson, I am awfully sorry. We can offer you a 10% discount for the delay. Okay, you're absolutely right. I'm awfully sorry is the best expression to use here. This is because it's not terrible news and it should be formal because we're dealing with a customer. So we don't need any emotional expression. That's it for now. This has been Jason Palmer reacting to bad news. 
Now I have to get back to some more bad news. Chelsea? You now know how to react to bad news in a formal way. Watch the next part of our program to learn how to react to bad news using everyday speech. Hi, I'm Grace, and this is Three Ways Two. I've just noticed that half my crew are not here. Excuse me, do you know where my assistant is? Her mother got ill. She took her to the hospital. Oh, no. Oh. Well, as you saw, my response was, oh, no. And that shows that I understand. Sorry, where's my second assistant? She's not feeling well today. She stayed home. Oh, how sad. Well, as you saw, I said, how sad, which is a different way of saying it. Hang on, where's Mohammed, my makeup artist? He's at the police station because he lost his documents. Oh, how awful. As you saw there, I said, how awful, expressing that I understood. That's for you, I find it on your car. Parking ticket. Oh, shit. Well, as you can see, I've named all the different ways to receive some bad news. For example, oh no, how awful, and oh, shit. Oh no. Not so emotional, casual way to react to bad news. How sad, how awful. Casual ways to show understanding for someone's situation. Oh shit. An extremely emotional, informal way to react to bad news. A friend has just told you that he was robbed on the street. How can you respond? You're right. The correct answer is, how awful. Now you can react to bad news in both formal and casual ways. Watch the next part of the program with Marvin to learn some slang ways to react to bad news. Hi, my name is Marvin and you're watching Three Ways Two. Today, I've been asked to talk to you about how to react to bad news. But right now, that's really difficult because nothing bad is happening. I have a text message. Oh, it's from my friend Tim. Let's have a look. I've been dumped. That's really bad news, actually. That means that he's just broken up with his girlfriend. I can write to him, I am really gutted for you. Anytime that something bad happens to someone, you can say, I'm really gutted for you. It means I'm sorry for you.
So I had to react to some sort of bad news, but everything's perfect right now. Nothing bad is happening. Life is good. Oh, that's rough. Actually, you know what? This is a great example for today's show. So, we use this word, rough, anytime something disgusting has happened to you. Like when a bird, thank you, bird, decides to poop on your shoulder. But I know in some cultures, that really is rough. It's good luck when a bird does poop on you. So, thanks or no thanks to the bird. You know the saying about bad news happens in threes. I'm kind of scared. What will the third thing be? It's my phone ringing. Maybe this is it. My girlfriend, Rachel. Hi, honey. 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 I'm busy. I'm. I'm working. I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. <laughs> oh. By the way, we use this word. Sam, when you have a problem, any problem, <laughs> damn. Hopefully you won't have to use this word or expression too many times. So, to sum up, today we have learned, I'm gutted for you, that's rough, and damn. I thought bad news only happened in threes. It's my girlfriend, Rachel. Marvin, you're dumped. It sucks. Actually, that really sucks. Not the best time, but actually this is a good example. We use this expression, it sucks when you've received some really, really bad news. I actually had a really good day today. But now, everything just sucks. The weather, it sucks. The river, it sucks. You know what? Even this tea, even this tea right now, this, this tea sucks. Everything sucks. Great! I had a perfect, perfect day. Now it's ruined, gone. Great, everything sucks. Perfect, ruined, can't believe it. I'm gutted for you. A slang way to express disappointment and sympathy. That's rough. A slang way to react to some unpleasant situation. Damn. A slang word to react to any bad news. It sucks. An extremely emotional slang way to react to bad news. You've received a text from your friend. I dropped out of uni today. How could you reply? Choose the correct response. You're right. The correct answer is, damn. You did a brilliant job. We hope that you'll have as little bad news as possible, but now you know at least three ways to react to them.